Hello guys, this is Fajuice, and today I'm going to run you through how I drew this fairy. In my last video I tried without grayscale and this one I felt like I needed to go grayscale again. I felt like grayscale is such a valuable tool in divining your tones and hues and even though you have to go back and correct a few issues after you finish doing grayscale, I still think it's easier to use grayscale in your work. Um, that's my personal opinion, but yeah. Um, I decided to give her a normalize in this in this picture. I felt like um, I wanted to experiment with that. Um, I also spent time on the hand. At first, I couldn't get the hand right, but. After using a reference uh, of a hand holding a ball, I got the right shape for the hand. Um, I found the lighting difficult to do on the hand because the light was coming from inside the hand, which is not something that happens much in nature. Um, <laughs> I felt like things were much easier to work out when working in grayscale because you can it, it's easier to figure out where the light goes and stuff um after drawing the nose i felt like i was trying to tilt her head upwards so i felt like the nose would be also tilted upwards along with her head um but after looking at this for a while, it looked like she had a bit of a pig snout, so I wanted to change this. Uh, and I do change it later on. I used some darker values on the fingers and stuff because I felt like this helped define them against the light coming from the hand. Here I go into colour and as you can see it's at first the colour can look a little bit muted but using a filter over the top you can change this plus uh, you can go in and add different colours and lighting effects which can fix the issues that grayscales can, grayscale can give you. Um, here I changed the nose because I felt like it looked a bit snouty so here we uh, and a friend told me that it looked sn snouty as well, so I decided to play around with it a little bit, give her a little bit of a nose job. And there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Fade you out.